My name is Garth and uh, I want to share with you my life story. I grew up in America in a very poor family. Uh, my mother was a cocktail waitress in bars and casinos and we had no money. There were four kids. We had absolutely no financial security. Basically, we just worried every day how we were going to make ends meet, uh, where we were going to live, if we were going to have a place to live. And when you grow up in that kind of upbringing, you have a burning desire to get out. When I was 18 years old, I went into the United States Army. I served for three years stateside. And I made the mistake of getting involved, like a lot of the guys, in uh, drinking. And I became an alcoholic and then eventually got addicted to drugs. And my life was really going nowhere. And then I had a truly amazing experience, life-changing uh, time when I walked into a chapel on a Christmas Eve and uh, had an experience of meeting Jesus Christ who became my my savior and turned my life around and gave me a value system and then I thought you know I can really make something of my life. I remember my mother telling me all my life that uh, if I would just go to college I'd have a chance to break the chain of, of poverty and really have uh, financial freedom and success. Just had to go to college and get a degree. Well, I took that kind of two extremes. I went to college and got one degree in advertising and I kept going to college and got a degree in business management. And then I went to graduate school and I studied uh, cross-cultural communications. But when I finished my education, I was unemployable. I was overqualified education-wise. And I ended up getting a job driving a snack truck where I would drive from little convenience store to another to another um, putting snacks and chips and candy on the stands and I really felt like I had reached the bottom of my life and I had no chance financially. One of the great things about reaching the bottom is that it really opens you up for opportunity and I was constantly looking in the paper in the employment section for that way out and that's when I saw an ad that said that this guy had made more money in the past month than I could make in a year with what I was doing and that there was no experience necessary and when I come in for an interview so immediately I went and uh, sat down and talked to the guy it was at this clubhouse in Newport Beach beautiful place guy was obviously very rich and very successful and uh, he asked me what were my dreams and I shared with him uh, big dreams and big goals that I had to live in a fantastic home by the sea, to travel all around the world, to drive fantastic cars and to have everything that people pretty much dream about. And uh, then he asked me how much money do you have and I told him that I had $26 and he said no, not how much do you have in your pocket, I mean how much do you have. And I said, that's really all I have to my name. So he said, look, you're not poor. You're just broke. See, poor can be a lifetime condition, but broke, that's temporary. And we can fix that. So he said, you give me $20 and you take the other $6 and put it in your gas tank of your car and do exactly what I say. I said, you know, if I give you $20, I mean, I'm." I, how am I going to even survive? And he said, what choice do you have at this point in your life? Why don't you just trust me? So I gave him the money. He gave me one little product from his company. He said, uh, drive your car around to everybody you know and bring them back to me and I'll tell them about how I made so much money. And I did that and I just went crazy, crazy because I was, I was desperate. I didn't have any choice. Well. I was tremendously successful and within a year I was living in a million dollar home above the sea in Malibu, California. So I'm living in this beautiful house by the sea but I'm not really there because I'm working so hard that I'm gone three weeks out of every month traveling up and down the west coast to expand my business and when I get home 
I would just be exhausted and I couldn't maintain relationships. I just, I just felt this is not success. It's just money. And I decided I was going to follow a dream that I'd had for a long time, walk away from my business and move to Europe and start over. So I did just that. And I lived in a beautiful villa by the sea on the Adriatic. And I had everything people dream of. And again, I was not happy because I was bored. I didn't have a challenge. I'm the kind of person who needs to really be challenged in life to do something greater than the average. Something really, really fantastic. And that's when I received an email inviting me to take a look at the opportunity that I'm a part of now. And uh, I flew to Dallas, Texas. This was in 2004 in the summer. I looked at an opportunity. I had no idea how their marketing plan worked. I had never marketed any products like what they were showing me. But they said, you can go back to Europe and you can be first. And you know what it means to be first in this kind of business. So I went back and I started in my living room. And we just had two products. And we didn't have a website in the languages in Europe. And we didn't have uh, an importer and shipping and a warehouse and an office and customer service for Europe, nothing. But I just started with this big passion and this big dream. And I filled my living room with people. Pretty soon, it expanded and expanded. And within a matter of months, literally, we were doing hundreds of thousands of euros in business and eventually millions. During that time, a couple of the guys in the company who were the top, top leaders and partners in business, they flew regularly to Europe and eventually to many countries around the world as I've expanded my business to give me all the support that I needed. And in the process, some pretty incredible people have come on my team as we have expanded continent to continent and to so many countries. So the company has grown and they're constantly expanding and they're looking to open new markets and again and again it's the chance to be first and that's the position that I got in. Well, along the way I would be involved in Christian ministry and I would go to different countries like Belarus and Ukraine and Bosnia to do ministry with orphan children and poor people. And it was on one of those trips to the Ukraine that a lady from the Czech Republic happened to be a part of a team that I was on. Her name is Anna. And I watched her on that trip and I just saw how amazing she was working with the children and how they adored her. And I just thought, you know, this is someone I want to spend my life with. And uh, we got married and we started traveling the world. And we went to gorgeous places all around the world and we were having a fantastic time. And then we made the monumental decision to bring on and foster parent three little boys. And uh, you can see by these images that they're adorable and how could you help but fall in love with them. So we went from this childless couple uh, with a great income, traveling the world, having a great time, to becoming uh, parents for three little kids. And you know what a life changer that is. But you know what the great thing is? I've never had to be concerned as I brought them into our lives with having financial security and freedom, with knowing that I could take care of them and take care of my wife, that we could live in a beautiful home, and that eventually, I could take those kids with me and Anna and I could show them the world. And that's, that's what our plan is. And we want to teach them how to care about the orphans and about the poor and about the people who can really be benefited by someone who's been blessed so much like we have. So I'm in this business. And by my story, if listening you think that I'm the kind of guy that you'd like to work with and who maybe could help you and help you realize your dreams, I don't care where you are in the world, there's an amazing opportunity for you. What you can do is 
at the end of this video there's a place where you can give me your name your email address your phone number if you have Skype and uh, I'd be happy to talk to you about the opportunity that I have and maybe it would be a good match maybe I could help you achieve your great life story